BYD started constructing its first sodium-ion battery plant in Shuzhou, a city about halfway between Beijing and Shanghai. The investment into the project is 10 billion yuan, 1.4 billion US dollars, and the planned annual output capacity is 30 GWh. Hello everyone, welcome back to EV's Queen, thank you for supporting us from all over the world. Subscribe to know more about the electric mobility. We provide the most recent and updated news every day. The sod cutting ceremony was held on January 4 in Shuzhou Economic and Technological Development Zone with representatives of all parties celebrating the first day of project construction, the local government announced today. BYD's subsidiary Findream's battery signed an agreement with tricycle giant Huaihai Group to construct the Shuzhou Sodium Battery Plant on November 18 in Shenzhen. Companies announced they would make Shuzhou the center of battery production for micro-vehicles and scooters as those EVs will have the best use of sodium ion packs. This is not the first cooperation between BYD and Huaihai Group, as both companies teamed up to build a standard battery plant in November 2022, also in Shuzhou. This plant will produce blade batteries with lithium iron phosphate (LFP) chemistry. Both companies jointly invested 10 billion yuan. In January last year, the construction started, and the 310,000 square meters factory is nearly ready, with trial production to begin in March 2024. BYD Seagull was rumored to be the first mass-produced EV with a Na Plus battery. However, when it was launched in April, it came with a standard LFP blade battery from BYD. The company hasn't commented on it since then. On December 27, the first mass-produced EV equipped with a sodium-ion battery rolled off the production line in China. It was a Volkswagen-backed JACEUA hatchback using a sodium pack from Hina battery, and the deliveries will start later this month, according to Hina. On December 28, Ford's joint venture partner Jiangling Motors JMC, started mass production of another EV powered by sodium-ion battery. The car is called Jmev EV3, and the Na Plus battery is supplied by Ferrisys Energy. Ferrisys Energy says its Na Plus batteries have an energy density of 140 to 160 WH kg, and in 2024, it will launch a new generation with a density of 160 to 180 WH kg. By 2026, they will produce sodium packs with 180 to 200 WH slash kg density, according to the company. Other Chinese manufacturers are also not sleeping. CATL announced in April the first automaker to use its Naion batteries will be Cherry Auto's iCar brand. However, no progress since then has been announced. It has 251 km of CLTC range thanks to a 21.4 kWh sodium-ion battery and a price of 58,800 yuan, 8,200 US dollars. Salt's batteries are generally cheaper and do not use lithium as sodium will replace it as cathode material. It also doesn't need other precious metals, such as cobalt or nickel, like ternary NMC batteries. However, they have a lower energy density, thus being destined for use mainly in scooters, small cars, or stationary storage. Let's sum up sodium ion pros and cons. Pros Generally safer than lithium batteries. Better performance in cold temperatures. Slower discharge rate cheaper to produce better for the environment cons slower charge rate lower attainable voltage lower energy density than lfp thanks for watching have a great day